In your early 20s, and this is especially true if you're living in Hong Kong, there is an unimaginable amount of pressure to be a hustler. And this hustle culture means that you're always on the go and always on the tip of your toes. As at any point of time, you have to be ready to fight off your competitors for that higher paying job or for that A in your exam or even for a table at a restaurant. So for myself, and I believe for many others as well, this is the everyday Hong Kong we see and know so well. As an international student who had never been to Hong Kong before I moved here to pursue my actuarial science degree, I can proudly say that I genuinely feel like Hong Kong has grown to be my second home. I mean, I'm living that typical, super competitive Hong Kong student life, am I not? I lose hair over assignments and exams, lose sleep over my GPA, lose me time over my job. So yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm losing my entire mind. Currently walking to my first midterm of the semester. Not really ready. I don't think I'm gonna do that well, but it's okay. It's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Even now, I'm still constantly questioning whether all the blood, sweat, and tears will lead to a payoff that I'd be satisfied with at some point in the future. Growing up, I've always had to work hard for the things that I wanted, and nothing ever came easy for me. So I've always had to postpone being happy, having fun, and doing things that I really wanted to do as I believed that I could only be happy after I had accomplished the goals I had set for myself. This mindset stuck with me for almost my entire life, but after moving to Hong Kong, it started to take a toll on me. I was burnt out, lost, and confused. It was as if my mind and my body couldn't take it any longer. Being in Hong Kong with all the hustle and bustle in this competitive, fast-paced, and vibrant city, I guess I was pushed to my breaking point which led me to realize that I couldn't let this go on any longer. I was pushed to find the key to my own happiness, and I was pushed to find myself again. Recently, I've been trying to be more intentional with incorporating little moments of happiness into my busy schedule and showing gratitude to all the little things in life that give me joy. Wow, I'm sorry. So while the stress and anxiety from ridiculously high and sometimes unattainable expectations and standards still exist, I try to steal these little happy moments for myself. I don't think this is a pig. Let, let's wait for someone else to walk first. Is this a, is this a pig? It's a boar. It's a boar? <laughs> oh my god, I heard, I heard something. I heard like a shriek. Oh my gosh. This just fell have you ever seen one as you? I'm not provoking it. It's provoking me. I'm getting out of here. To live life to the fullest and to live life with no regrets is a choice that we have to make for ourselves every single day. So I guess what I want to say is be brave and take those little baby steps because although we may not believe it at this very moment, but even the littlest things that are absolutely nothing out of the ordinary can make the biggest difference.